Welcome on in everybody to the LOS Champs channel where we have a ton of Rocket League for you here tonight. It is 3v3 all night long. Cobra in the booth joined by Flash Pandy. How are you doing today, sir? Pumped up to be here tonight, Cobra. It's my first time on the LOS Champs Twitch, but it's going to be a fantastic one. Three beautiful matches up for you guys tonight, and it's just going to be so exciting. Yeah, absolutely. Tons of action. We got a little bit of everything on the stream. So coming up in just a few minutes, Akatsuki going up against NF Golden Clouds. Both of these teams undefeated. And if you're new here, if you're not familiar with what happened in Season 0, we are in Season 1, Week 3, in the middle of our eight-week Swiss format so all these teams are going to be playing a team that is you know relatively around where they are in the standings in the table um, both these teams looking to stay undefeated here yeah and both these teams coming in at 2-0 and a 6-3 and series or a 6-3 and game record throughout the, their two series so far in this season so that's the beauty of the Swiss format Cobra is that we're going to see three really close matchups both team records are going to be right around the same and in this one we see both teams six and three the exact same record seeing some success throughout the entire season dropping a couple games on the long, along the way so some teams that are just getting their feet set in this first season actually the second season but season one of los chance it's going to be a fantastic one tonight yeah absolutely and i i think you know you kind of mentioned this it's so wonderful this swift's format because it does kind of reward consistent play what you put in is exactly what you're going to get and you're going to consistently find yourself in you know troubling matches in a match where you're consistently you know kind of having to bide for your position every single week here yeah and with this tonight we have both teams it, it at 2 and 0. So it's it's harder and harder to stay at the top in a Swiss format. So this is week 3. Both teams are already seeing some really tough matchups especially now uh, coming up against Akatsuki and NF Golden Clouds is one team we've seen a lot of so far in LOS Champs. So this is tier 6 tonight. So 1100 to about the 1250 ranked range is what we're going to see. Uh, I believe that is champ 1 about that range. So it's going to be two teams going at it tonight. We're going to see a lot of physical play. We're going to see a lot of uh, high flying action in the air and nonetheless it's just i just can't wait to get dive right in yeah absolutely and you know while we're still early in the season these games are important you want to stay you know up in the top of that swiss format for as long as possible because it is only the top 16 teams that'll move on to the single elimination format later on but for right now look like we are about to get going heading on down to the field best of five starting now it is Akatsuki versus NF Golden Clouds. Both teams 2-0 looking to start the season, continue the season out with a bang. Gamer for fun, Dank Trees and Daiskai representing Akatsuki and Asterian RL. Godless and Kimo representing NF Golden Clouds. Both of these teams we've seen plenty of so far this season. Some success for both sides thus far. The ball kind of pinging back and forth between both sides so far. Only 20 seconds in and plenty of action. Yeah, and both teams, you know, maybe testing the waters a little bit. You don't want to really take any big swings unless they have a feel for the game. So we're not really going to see any, you know, massive overcommits just yet. But it looks like right now it might be an opening goal here for Golden Clouds. A great couple of moves here by Kimo. Yeah, doing it all himself there, kind of collecting that ball off the base wall, just flicking it past that last defender, Starian, trying to dive in there and get a little taste of the action himself. But Kimo getting the goal started for NF Golden Clouds. Still plenty of time on the clock. And Kotsky, you know, I feel like they've had a lot more of the possession here, but just, you know, one you know, fatal touch or one fatal miss challenge and immediately it's on the other side of the net. There's a chance there. Godless just stretching up and make the touch there to keep it out of his own half. Golden Clouds already showing the acrobatics in their own half. We see counterattack mounting on the offensive end. The dish touch back to Kimo, but it's Dyke or Dice Guy getting there just in front of the net to prevent another goal. We see Golden Clouds here. Cobra is really putting the pressure on right now. Yeah, and it's really because they're playing through each other. They're finding multiple opportunities where they're finding their teammates in space, and yet another really venomous shot at the blue side of the net. 
There's another chance from Godless Dumps. That one from the midfield. Gamer just can't find that touch on the defensive end there. Kimo to chip back in. Gamer for fun, just waiting for it there on the backboard. But once again, Golden Cloud starting out with a lot of pressure there. You see Dank Trees trying to just get a clear going for Akatsuki right now. There's finally a clear back in the offense of the blue team here. We now, here we go, Asterian. The 50 is going to put some pressure on Kimo on the defensive end, but it, NF Golden Clouds once again holding strong on defense. Yeah, they don't really seem too troubled here. They calm, cool, collected in every single one of these touches, and you're really trying to buy time for teammates to get in position to pass out of their defensive third, but now a little bit of pressure here from Akatsuki, but will they get anything through the back lines of Golden Clouds? Yeah, that's the major question right now. We're seeing a lot of pressure coming out now. Uh, Golden Clouds finally gets a clear for the first time in about 30 seconds. But for Akatsuki right now, one thing that's a little alarming for me on offense is it seems like they're putting on a lot of pressure on the Golden Clouds end, but it seems like it is a lot of one-off rotations. We're not seeing a lot of setup offense between these guys. Oh. But Kimo once again back the other direction we will make it two for Golden Clouds. Yeah, that's what I think the entirety of Akatsuki kind of lacking for boost here and not able to get back quickly on the transition. And right now it is it is clean and clinical for the side of Golden Clouds. Yeah, not many mistakes have been made thus far for them. They're just taking advantage of the little mistakes that Akatsuki has been making thus far in their rotation. There's Dice Guy looking for an opening on the net, but Godless is just able to stretch out a little bit of a psycho touch there. So we see now Godless try to head back out of the way of Golden Cloud's defense. Now trying to set up some offense for the yellow team. Kimo just can't get that touch as there's a chance for a counterattack now for Akatsuki. And Akatsuki, they do have to start sending numbers upfield. There's been a couple of you know, decent center balls, but the second man has been just a little bit afraid to really step up in past the midfield, step up into that space. And, you know, credit to Golden Clouds for constantly creating that fear and that pressure uh, that's kept Akatsuki at bay for the moment. Yeah, we're seeing this team chemistry coming out from Golden Clouds is really, really dangerous. Akashi's just trying to manage it as best as they can. And honestly, I think they've done a great job of it so far. We're seeing them get in there, disrupting those passes as Dank Trees just did, forcing uh, Asterian there into an awkward position. Now we've seen a little bit of offense going from Akatsuki, but once again, Kimo there just to swoop in, catch Dice, Dice Kai there in an awkward position backwards there. But again, like you said, Akatsuki's just trying to get something set up, but it seems like Golden Clouds just seems to be a step ahead well only a minute remaining here and we have to see one of these players kind of make that impact whether you know i'd love to see him you know try and beat a player you know by themselves just keep it really close uh you know maybe a dribble play here but right now they're they're trying so very hard to look for that pass it's just not surmounting to anything yeah we're seeing golden clouds doing just that and we're seeing them just kind of getting straight into the rotations, cutting off every pass lane that is being opened up by Akatsuki's offense, even their defense too, which is just pushing the ball further onto the backboard. And it's it's just making it a really tough job for Akatsuki to work at all. Final 20 seconds here and Gamer again looking for an entrance pass from that corner, not gonna be able to get it. Maybe one more opportunity for Golden Clouds and shot denied. And while the seconds will go down, Golden Clouds will tackle one more and they'll get another goal. Third one on the game. Wow, what pressure coming out from Godless there, forcing that defensive touch straight into the hands of his teammate, making that one three goals for Golden Clouds and a commanding W for game one. Yeah, and again, so it's, it's decisive. When they take that final goal on target, it is very clean. They know exactly, you know, what they did in order to break down the Akatsuki defense. And as of right now, it, it seems like it is all on Akatsuki to actually, you know, get a an adaptation here, try and figure out a way to really break down Golden Clouds. They, you know, they had a lot of pressure, but not necessarily any danger posed uh, to the defense in yellow. 
Yeah, it's just it's just going to come down to, like you said, how well they can just get themselves together, formulate some plays and actually get a really solid rotation in there. As we kind of mentioned in the first half of the game, a lot of their offensive rotations were really one off. We saw them yeah. putting some pressure on the ball just kind of falls in the hands of the defense and they just kind of peel away, hoping that something will work. But Golden Clouds reads them really early. They see, oh, well, they're just putting on a shot. It's not much of a threat. And Acosta just kind of turns back and lets Golden Clouds just surge back down the field. Most of the time it ends up in a shot and sometimes it ends up in a goal. And that three goals has basically just um, it furthers my point that Golden Clouds just kind of is a step ahead of Akatsuki. But again, we see Akatsuki that played pretty well on defense. Just it comes down to how well they can turn around that defensive success into an offense. Yeah, absolutely. Now, you know, in game number two, you know, this is the best of five series. Still a little bit of time to make some adjustments here. But for Akatsuki, I mean, who who is the player that that needs to be making that decision? You know, sometimes it's it's an entire team thing. But I, I feel like especially in you know league play like this, it is so very important that there is there's a player that you could kind of rally behind. It doesn't necessarily need to be a striker, uh, but someone that is making impact plays across the field. That way you can really kind of get a hold and build up some confidence in this game. Yeah, I think for uh, Nola Flight, that was chemo last game, getting those first yeah. couple of goals in. And I, honestly, for Kotsky, I think we saw Dank Trees trying to get in there as much as they could to try and disrupt that uh, that offense. And they did the, they did so just a few times. It's just they couldn't get the help that they necessarily needed to turn it into an offense. Uh, we see here off the first kickoff here in Ooh. game two, we see chemo again putting on a lot of pressure. The midfield pass, a little bit of a double commit, but Asterian is going to put some more pressure on. And uh, just early, Akatsuki on the back foot once again. Yeah, right now, Golden Clouds have absolutely no fear kind of getting into the red half, and it's because they've been so dominant. They they know even the double commit, they, they really haven't been punished for any mistakes like that because they've been able to get really solid touches. Possible shot here off the bar, and oh. it will eventually go in. Chemo will turn around for that one and get credit. But again, look at the space. Asterion puts a great shot on target. The bar denies the initial attempt, but I mean, Chemo is still around for it. Will be able to get it back. Yeah, I, gotta get a, I have to give credit, excuse me, to Chemo there. Uh, that, that first touch that initially sent the ball midfield was a really awkward backflip touch that he got th with the nose of his car that disrupted those two defenders from Akatsuki that basically started that play. But great job for Nola Flight getting that thing done. But Akatsuki, uh, once again, just looking for answers on this offense that's surging so quickly downfield. See Daisuke there off the kickoff, already starting to get some offensive pressure going. But we see Gamer in there just trying to get just trying to get physical on the play, starting to get help uh, for that first attacker that is coming on. But Asterian, once again, just trying to find a path through. And unfortunately for Akatsuki, there's way too many of them right now. Yeah, and for Akatsuki, you could kind of feel and see the panic of them really trying to make sure that they're behind the ball at all times, that they really get it out of the way. But Kimo will continue to instill feel a fear here. Two goals on the board. Yeah, absolutely nobody challenging that ball midfield. That fit, or initial 50 just turned right back in the hands of Kimo. And unfortunately for Akatsuki, there was nobody else, no other defender there to just square up and just take on the fight and basically let Kimo put a shot on it. Kimo just did a fantastic job of executing that and just putting it right in the back of that. Styrion looking to play this one back into the corner, but now opportunities here for Akatsuki, but again, still very one-off. They still have an opportunity to attack, but it's it's one-off shots with a stacked net, and they're, they're still not finding, you know, clean success on the yellow goal. Daisuke looking for a touch off the backboard. Asterian a little bit awkward there, but gets the possession back in the hands of Akatsuki. The 50 is just going to be sent to the side while Akatsuki often still held to zero shots. But that one is going to find its way in the net. Asterian could have saved it. Actually helped it just a little bit in the net, but Akatsuki is on the board. Yeah, and this it has to be a confidence builder here. Not really sure where the back line of Golden Clouds was. I think they were expecting that ball to get out. So started seeing players kind of on the opposite corner taking their runs down the field not realizing that the net was completely open you know only a one goal deficit here still plenty of time over half the game time remaining we might be able to see a run here from Akatsuki 
Yeah, we're seeing them once again back in the offensive zone. Godless trying to find a touch midfield. Dang Trees is there for the big 50, but once again, Kimo is there to defuse that pressure. Gamer for fun is going to slam that one back into the Golden Clouds corner, put some pressure on the backboard, dump it back midfield, but Kimo once again on the receiving end of that pass, just a bit too high past the offensive attacker there. Nikotsky back on the offensive, headed back the other way, but Golden Clouds, once again, that team chemistry, they're just finding each other. Those midfield passes diffusing as much pressure as being put on and just headed right back the other way. Yeah, quite a bit of structure here, and it's not breaking down easily. Akatsuki continue to look for those options in the midfield. Dinktree is going to look for the same thing here, but is going up without any assistance. The Calvary has not yet arrived. Maybe an opportunity here, but Gamer just a little bit behind it. Golden Clouds is covering most of those offensive options here for Akatsuki so far. Yeah, you see that pop touch there midfield. It was a great 50 there from the Akoski first man, but unfortunately, once again, that lackluster pressure from the second man just kind of held them back just a little bit and gave Golden Clouds plenty of enough chances to get on and get on the ball as quickly as possible. As we saw another shot just go screaming past the post there. Uh, Akoski, once again, pressuring uh, the Nola Flight defense, but once again, Asterian huge clear is going to defuse some pressure, headed back the other way, but still a goal deficit, a goal needed for a Kotsky now, but we're seeing some fresh life out of them so far on the offensive end. Just a little help is still needed there, but we're definitely seeing some improvement. Kotsky will get the ball on multiple demos on both sides here. Big trees. A little bit of a misstep here, and that is a nice touch. Will it shift the keeper? It will. It goes all the way past, and it felt like, you know, with the demos, you know, Akatsuki would have had an opportunity. Golden Clouds deny it immediately. Yeah, and that's a tough position to be there if you're in the Akoski third man. You see them get the bump. It's kind of tough to read the situation. Do I commit on this? Because my first man that just rotated out is not quite back yet. So it's hard. It's a hard judgment to make. And once again, that's a great job by Kimo, not just kind of turning the ball over into an awkward possession and actually finding an opening there and putting it in the back of the net. But 30 seconds to go. Akoski is still not out of it yet. The, both of these games so far have been very close, but still, Nola Flight has the edge as far as pressure goes. See Akoski just trying to get something out but chemo once again that 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 key player for nola flight thus far starting some place facilitating them but right now it's seeming like it's going to be a dove ski once again for nola flight yeah it is cool calm collected here for golden clouds final moments will tick on by and you know again just everything that golden clouds want to do is available for them on the field they don't really seem to be too pressed on the defensive side now Kotsky running out of lives if the ball is still up but finally hits the ground golden clouds winners in game number two and they're looking to close out the series yeah, series point now for Golden Clouds. They are one step closer to another series win to stay perfect on the season as far as series record goes. Once again, Kimo, eight shots, three goals on eight shots in this game. Once keystone player for Golden Clouds thus far is really facilitating every play. Asterian chipping in uh, an assist there. So it just we see the team chemistry between these guys. We saw it throughout both games so far, uh, Cobra, is that Every time there's pressure put on them, they're finding each other in the midfield, looking to get a clear out, uh, not just dumping the ball downfield that Akoski may be doing, but we're going to see a substitute. seems like Citrus is making their way in the lobby now, trying to get his first win, get his hands on the series as well. And uh, so Akoski just looking to get back in the swing of things here. Yeah, and Golden Clouds are taking advantage of the space here, right? They, we see that, you know, a lot of their one-off attacks, the reason why Akatsuki is having so many one-off attacks is because there is a, a decent pass, a decent center ball, and there's just no one really to put pressure on it immediately. And Golden Clouds have picked up on that. They're realizing that they're able to take that first touch and look for their teammates, look to play through the open space, and they continue to do that. I'd love to see Akatsuki, you know, maybe with the the new blood here in the sub, see if that changes at all here in game number three. I think we saw some of that developing in the last game, too, is we saw Dank Trees really getting in there. We said that they were going to be the key player for this series. Going for the double tap there off the kickoff. We saw them once again putting some pressure on. And, and go, to go back to what you said there in the little break, 
was that we need to see some development from them, and we saw it between the first and the second game, but now is the time to do that. They are on series point. Golden Clouds has seen success in two games back to back, and Akoski's really going to need to have a big turnaround here if they're going to want to be able to take these guys down because we know that Golden Clouds is a really strong unit so far, putting some pressure on. There's two shots as it took. Last game took two and a half minutes to even register a shot, and now they've got two. Yeah, and you, and you love to see it. I mean, Golden Cloud's the one with the the substitute here. And, you know, if you're a Kotsky, you're kind of taking a look at that. Like, this this is not a substitute to try and change something. This is a substitute because they're comfortable. They have a feeling that they can take this game at no problem. And Akatsuki, get a little angry, get a little upset. You know, try <laughs> to really, you know, make them second guess being, able, being that comfortable during the entirety of this series. Yeah, and that's, that's the one thing you got to be careful for if you're a Golden Clouds is getting too complacent with a series win. Both these games have been decided by just a handful of goals. Three goals, yeah, it's a lot of goals, but we know it's Rocket League. Anything can happen. Things and momentum can change on a drop of a dime. We know exactly what what teams can do to turn things around. And thus far, Golden Clouds have not registered a goal yet, or, but only one shot. So we see Akatsuki here with, I'd say, the advantage as far as the pressure and the possession goes. But Golden Clouds still, again, they have two gains of momentum uh, under their belt right now. So we see Kimo once again, that star player, just coming in, putting some pressure on. But we see the possession still in the favor of Akatsuki. Yeah, it does change the fabric of the game a little bit. Does Kai shot on target? It's Syrian. We'll see it the entire way and parries it for now. But, you know, hopefully Akatsuki is able to build up something kind of attacking through the middle. Another shot goes through, and we're seeing a ton of more attempts on the net. They really need to try and overwhelm this Golden Clouds defense, who now, you know, are you know, having a change. They're not looking quite as strapped up and tidy as we saw them in the earlier games, but offensively, they are still very threatening. Yeah, we see Golden Clouds rotating pretty high right now. I wouldn't be surprised if we see Akatsuki break through here in just a moment, oh. but oh my, what a shot from Citrus, that super sub coming in. Kimo there on the, the rebound to slot it in, and despite the fact that the pressure was so far in the favor of Akatsuki, we see Golden Clouds strike first. Yeah, it, it was really a wonderful snap fire save there. Dallas guy, you know, in the perfect spot. Unfortunately, the touch, they're not able to see it, you know, to the left or to the right. That kind of pops up, and no one's able to track it back down for the second touch. Kimo might be able to follow this one up as well, and that is a quick daily double here for Golden Clouds, and now it's starting to get away from Akatsuki here. Yeah, Kima registering his sixth goal of the series for Golden Cloud. Six out of seven goals have come from the hands of Kimo. But if you're Kotsky, you got to keep your head on right now. It's a kickoff goal. Things happen. Uh, it's it's easy to get tilted and easy to get in your head about a kickoff goal. But yes, you are on serious point here. But it is so hard to let those things get to you. But Kotsky, it is up to you. You are the ones to change the series right now. And a kickoff goal can't be the deciding factor here. Asterion's a little awkward, but what a recovery to make that save. So much pressure coming from Akatsuki. The double commit save is going to put some pressure on them now. Dang trees off the backboard looking for one, but Kimo once again, that touch is able to diffuse some pressure. Asterion off the backboard once again. This Golden Clouds defense is holding this Akatsuki team in an iron grip. Yeah, as of right now, Akatsuki are not finding any answers in the infield. They're not finding any answers from the corner. I'd love to see if they can find something maybe off the backboard, maybe off round play, because those passes just have not really been connecting. And, you know, Golden Clouds, they typically have two to three people, you know, playing from the near, near post. Gamer looking for the read, won't be able to get it, but that's what I'm talking about. Off the backboard, they had a clear opportunity. Now they just need to finish it. Yeah, backboard mechanics are so important, especially at this rank. It is a really tough spot to defend, and I think if Akatsuki can take over in the next minute and four seconds, they can take advantage oh, of it, but that's going to be a tough bounce. Kimo just going to have an easy walk-in goal, and that is a tough one to recover from. Yeah, the hat trick here, and didn't need to do too much for that one besides just reading the play and knowing they had absolutely no one to beat at that final moment. A minute left to go, and as the time starts to tick away, it becomes less and less likely that Kotsky will have time to come back in this one. Yeah, we've seen so much promise from them, a lot of development. We've seen them kind of adjusting some of, to some of the mistakes they have been making, but it just seems like, again, the moral of the story for tonight is this adjustment quickly. 
Uh, this is a five. This is a best of five, so you don't have seven games to make all these adjustments. So it's up to Akatsuki. We see how they have made some adjustments, some micro adjustments throughout the series that have been a bit more successful. But it has just been Golden Clouds there, just overarching, looking down on them, saying, "We are just the better team tonight." Will not be another one here as Dazkai does see that one away. Citrus middle of the field. There's no one on the back line, and Citrus. The substitute gets their first goal of the series, adding up to four for Golden Clouds. Yeah, we saw Kimo there getting physical on the back lines. He actually ghost touched that one a little bit. A little bit of fourth goal for them, but Citrus getting on the board there. And it seems like as 19 seconds to go here with a four goal lead, it seems like Golden Clouds may take this one in a clean sweep. Yeah, Gold Citrus looking for their second, you know, trying to stat pad as much as they can as they're you know, getting their time in the final game. But Rakotsky looking to get one from the road. Drop down as soon as the ball hits the ground. It will be over. Only took three. But it'll be Golden Clouds taking the victory here tonight. Commanding win for Golden Clouds, only conceding one goal throughout that entire series. Four goals or four nothing win in that third game there. Uh, congratulations to them. A lot of growth from both times we have seen, but it'll be Golden Clouds advancing to three and zero and nine and two on the season. Yeah, I mean that is a huge win and kind of you know, trying to separate yourself from the pack. Any type of win that you get, especially in the Swiss format. You know, you're getting a little bit ahead. You buy yourself a little bit more of a, of a buffer here as we get later on into the season. But you, know, you talked a little bit about this, um, you know, the adjustments that were made. But, you know, they had to make adjustments while they're in the hole. So good to see that, you know, Golden Cloud's able to kind of maintain. They're able to, you know, take commanding leads and really maintain that. Yeah, it's, it was, they did a fantastic job of taking that pressure on the defensive end and turning it turning it into offense. And the key player that did that tonight was Kimo. And we're going to see him in an interview in here in just a couple of moments. Kimo, congratulations on the win. How are you feeling? Feeling good, man. It's uh, it's always a good feeling when you play good and, and you end up in the results to match, you know. But uh, yeah, still still plenty of work to do. But it's, it's always uh, good to take a little time and, and relish in the celebration. Well, absolutely. And you, you talk about playing good, but you played uh, individually probably one of your best series. What was the key for you here tonight um, in order to kind of find yourself in those positions to find success here? Um, you know, it's always a team game, right? You know, it's it's you can play good individually. You can show it on the scoreboard. Sure. But, you know, it's 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 a it's a team effort. You know, it's it's a combination. But um. You know, I, I always think of, of the old uh, Counter-Strike loading screen where it's, it's a little on the bottom. It just says, uh, sometimes your opponent's just having a really good day. And uh, I, I think he had a really good day today. I would definitely agree to that. Is I mean, you, I think you had eight goals out of the nine goals for your team tonight. I mean, come on, man. You just you took every role that your team needed to fulfill tonight and just put it on your back. You kind of just, and that's not to discredit your teammates tonight, but you just kind of took the captain of the ship. You took the wheel and said, hey guys, we're going to take a 3-0 on this series and get the job done. Uh, but as far as communications go tonight, uh, it, it's it's really easy to get complacent with a 2-0 series lead. When you bring in Citrus there, what are you telling him saying that these guys are pretty good or I'm going to need you to kind of not be a little... A little too excited, but we got to keep our head on. So how are comms tonight thinking, oh, this is going to be a tough game. We're both 2-0. Oh. Let's just do the best we can. What are you thinking? I think confidence is key. You know, uh, uh, one of the first first things we say when we get in there is, you know, who's ready to get a win? Um, and I think that's something you got to keep going the whole time. Whether you're down, you know, you're playing a best of seven and you're down 3-0. Reverse sweets happen, you know. If there's it, It's it's never over till it's over, right? And um, going in with a 2-0 lead and bringing in Citrus... I mean, Citrus is plug and play, man. You can put him anywhere and he'll he'll survive and he'll do good. He's an anchor. So I think, you know, having Godless in and, and being kind of fast and, and being very much on the ball all the time, bringing in Citrus to kind of slow things down and, you know, just change up the pace and, and keep things kind of comfortable and, and in our control, I guess. And, and it kind of, it worked very well. All right, so you talked a little bit earlier about, you know, still things that you might need to fix as you're going on, you know, later into this Swiss format. What are what are some things that you're looking forward to, you know, kind of locking in and 
things that you're looking to improve here on your season one journey? I, uh, I think we struggle with momentum sometimes. We'll get kind of caught out where, you know, the, the other team will have possession in our half and, and we're kind of just, uh, we lose the rotation and we kind of just start throwing ourselves at the ball and, and kind of losing losing the structure of everything, right? And that, you know, that's, that's easy for other teams to take advantage of. So I think, you know, working on those kind of tight situations, low boost, high pressure, and, and you kind of got to be in the right spot to, to successfully defend. I think that's something that, that we can work on. But, you know, it's 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 always an improvement with Rocket League. Yeah, that's a great mindset to have. It is folks learn from that mindset right there. But uh, it's, once again, fantastic win for you guys tonight. You mentioned some things that you want to improve. You guys, it seems like you guys have everything down on lock. We see that you guys are moving on to 3-0. Uh, it's a fantastic showing tonight for you, Kimo. And uh, congratulations. Uh, but thanks for coming on. Uh, the floor is open to yours if you have, if you have any shout outs. Look, just uh, shout out Nola Flight. Shout out Medium as always for putting this all together. And uh, shout out Golden Clouds. We're uh, looking to go undefeated back to back. All right, perfect. Well, you enjoy your victory here uh, today, and we hope to see more from you. Have a good night, guys. All right, that was Chemo from Golden Clouds. And, you know, a nice little, like, quiet confidence there from yeah. a player who, who really like shined on the field uh excited to see they they want that undefeated season so excited to see if they can reproduce that yeah and he kind of alluded to going back to back and one thing to kind yeah. of back up on for those that are new and don't know golden clouds they actually went undefeated last season in season zero of uh, los champs so they're starting out early, three and zero series lead, or three and series record. So they're starting out doing exactly what they want to, and uh, just it's up to them to continue that success, and we'll hopefully be able to track that as we continue on in the season. Absolutely, and you know, really quick, if you want to be able to you know keep track of everything going on in the season, if you really feel I don't know maybe enthusiastic about everything that is going on here for LOS champs my oh my do I have the membership for you it is the enthusiast package here and we've been talking about it on Tuesday we're going to talk about it more here today $20 a year or $2 a month and you get a whole bunch of different things you get titles you get badges you get extra rooms for your trophies and Anytime that we have any extra um, packages that come out, it is very easy to upgrade as well. So make sure you keep an eye on that one as well. And if you sign up, there is a exclusive title, the Twitch Lurker title, that'll be available on the League page. So make sure you do that. You do not want to miss out on this opportunity. Yeah, I cannot wait to see. I, I mean... Come on, the, you have to be enthused about the Enthusiast Package. Once again, sign yeah. up today to be involved in that and get your very own exclusive Twitch title. All right. Well, we are going to take a little bit of a break here as we get ready for the next match. About a 27-minute break, so plenty of time. You know, get around, walk get a little bit of a snack and lock yourselves in for the next match. It is 100x35 gold going up against Nullifight again. Oh, there it is the Outlaws this time. You do not want to go anywhere. We'll be back after the break. <laughs> 